Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name remains Ojola Space Space. I say very big welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Sorry I lost my voice. <laughs> Hope you can hear me very well. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I say a very big thank you. But if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. I mean your baby girl, please support me. Yes, today I'm going to show you just a simple method to prepare your blood tonic. You don't need to start running around, start looking for money to buy blood tonic. You can easily make blood tonic by using a leaf called a wheelbarrow. The leaf is available everywhere. It's just a simple step to make your blood tonic. And with just a milk, if you want to use milk, or you can use your tin tomato. It's just too simple. So this is what I have for you today. And it's very, very medicinal. So today, let's go to the kitchen and prepare our blood tonic. So rich. You want to you know what to mix it. So this is my Ewiogbo, as you can see, is a crawling plant. They always attach themselves to other plants. So now if you look at it, how did you identify Ewiogbo? One, it's a crawling plant, like I said. So they usually attach themselves to, to their rope. That is their stalk. Then another thing you look at is there are a lot of leaves that looks like this. But the one thing about this area of one is number one, area of one is hard. This leaves you are looking at is very, very hard. It's not as soft as other grasses, other type of these shapes. It's on, it has, it is very, very thick. And another thing with this area of one, as you can see, is after you've cut it, it's going to bring out a juice, which is the water. It has a milky water. Once you identify that immediately you cut out the leaf from the the stalk, it's going to, you are going to see a whitish liquid coming out from it. This signify that this is a real bone. So this is the best way to identify a real bone apart from the leaf itself being hard. Then another thing is a corn leaf. As you can see, if you see a leaf, we call it a tutu. They look alike in their structures because of their calling type. But it's all the difference with this area of one is that it has a milky water. There's no other plant like this that you cut and you have the stem bringing out a milky water. So that is the difference. That is what you use to identify that this is our area of bone. Then another thing is when you look at a way of bone, it is something peculiar about a way of bone. The front is green, while the back, they are not always the same color. You can never see the, both the, the sides equal color. One will be greenish and the other will be lighter. So there is another unique, peculiar thing about this hour area. Well, and the Yoruba use it a lot. Not only the Yorubas, the Igbos, the Awusas, the Deltans, the Ten Deltanans, the, everybody will make use of this area of bomb. So, you just detach the leaves. Can you see? I'm detaching the leaves. I need just only the leaves. So, wherever you find it, you know, it's a crawling plant. You can easily just get it along the road like that or in anywhere you see it. So, what you do is you cut it along with the rope that is its own rope. And when you get to them, you detach it like what I'm doing. Now, just detach it. You don't prepare everything together because it's going to be hard for you to squeeze it so you just so i'm getting this to prepare for the entire family of five 
that is the blood turning for fight for force in the house and when you are taking it you take it in the morning you can take it in the afternoon you can take it at night the best time is take it at night when you are about to sleep it helps to boost your blood then another thing you should be cautious of is this please after preparing you don't leave it to the next day you don't leave it till the next day if you're about if you're leaving it to the next day then you have to put it inside your fridge you don't just after preparing just dump it in a particular place or maybe in your kitchen and you want to take it the next day please it's not advisable immediately you prepare please just take it immediately don't leave it to the next day is not advisable and it will not give you what you want and even you're going to have a different taste because i'm going to prepare today on with milk i'm not going to use the tin too much i'm washing it again i want to make sure that it is super super clean i don't want to have any dirt since i'm using it for my blood tonic Please pardon my voice. <laughs> I have a cracked voice. Please just pardon my voice. So I'll wash it. Wash it again one after the other. Make sure it is super, super clean. So this is the way it goes. It's this thoroughly washed. And I'm going to uh, squeeze it. And I've added only two cups of water. Two cups of water. So. It takes time. So can you see? really washed everything now so this, this is how can you see how the water looks like so just squeeze out this this is a waste So I'm going to be sieving it out. I'll be using one tin milk with this 100 leaves I've just squeezed out. And as you can see, this is the water. So this is what I'll be using to make it. Sleep. So I've opened the milk. I'm just going to pour it right inside. So, as you can see, your tin tomato. This is a sachet of tin tomatoes with the same quantity of water you just open your tin tomato and you pour it inside and mix it together you can also use your tin tomato but today i'm making use of milk i'm not using my tin tomato but tin tomatoes works better and faster than milk so this is our away of blood tonic this will boost your blood level it will increase it Thank you for watching today's video. I say bye.